Well guys, welcome back to another episode of Scribble Morts. Unfortunately, I have to announce that I am a silly moose. Um, you may consider this giant chisel not something particularly often seen at the start of a level. That, that is because um, I managed to delete the raw footage from my last episode before I rendered the video, like, a sm like the smart guy I am. So, this isn't where we were. Um, I'm going to try and go back to where we were. I think it's possible to reset a level. So I'm just going to... I've already gotten the star rights, but we'll run through it again and sort of see what we can do about that. Uh, so I've, apologies. I'm very sorry. I was having a bit of a clean-up and managed to delete a file that I shouldn't have. So this is the new area I started. Um, so we're going to go and have... This is not where I wanted to be at all. Okay, one second. This looks cool, though. This looks really cool. Can't wait to start here. There we go, I found it. <laughs> Took me a little while. Okay, so I think what I can do... Are they attacking the moose? What I think I can do is I can probably go and reset the area. So I hadn't actually completed this area, but we can have another go at it. And uh, we'll run it like that. So it's, it's, it's the best of a bad situation really. So, uh, it's a good thing I haven't really recorded this in a week, so I don't really remember what I did exactly. Um, do you know what? This is not giving me the hints that it did last time. So, I don't think I can redo these challenges. Uh, I guess I can quickly talk about them. Uh, this guy wants poisonous ingredients and he turns them into... Uh, I wonder if I can still give them to him actually. Um, poison. I discovered that I can really not write poison very, spell poison very well. Okay, he still does it, so he basically turns into a snake. Uh, so I gave him a poise, poison pie. And a poison apple. Poison is an odd word to spell, I have to say. There we go. And he turns into a giant snake. That's great. Um, this over here is a philosophy reference, uh, as I... <laughs> made note of in my last thing. Uh, it's I think it's a philosophy reference anyway. Uh, this lady wanted uh, something to to measure the race, which turned out to be a ruler. Um, I gave her a ruler. But uh, basically, there's a philosophical statement that you can never shoot a tortoise with an arrow because, say you shot a tortoise with an arrow. Hang on, let's just, uh, let's just get a demonstratory green cube just to simulate the, the tortoise. This is the tortoise, right? And I'm an arrow. The, the sort of philosophy, which is incorrect but can't be disproven almost, is that if I was firing myself at this tortoise and the tortoise was moving slowly forward, by the time I reached this spot, the tortoise would have moved on a little bit, so I wouldn't actually have hit it. But by the time that I move up towards the tortoise, it'll have moved again. So there's sort of this theory that it's impossible to to shoot a tortoise with an arrow, sort of a sort of philosophy thing. Uh, and that's kind of what this was referencing. Uh, so, Kim Chan Reviews is um, very good on the philosophy if you're interested. Uh, I did plug him in the last episode accidentally and uh, I'm just going to do it again. This guy wanted a giant chisel uh, so that he could carve... Hang on, I gave him a giant one, that was more funny. Giant chisel. There we go. Uh, which allowed him to make this huge statue of the, the guy. It's great. Uh, and this was a very long... Oh, I haven't done this one. That, that might be fun. This is a mime. I don't remember what the mime wanted. Uh, this guy wanted a living statue, so I I made it a living statue. I'm going to stop doing this. This isn't very entertaining, but uh, it's kind of that's kind of the kind of thing I was doing. Let's go do this thing, which I haven't done yet. But look, look, he's got a suitcase. Off he goes. <laughs> right, um... Let's go ahead and help this guy out, because I don't think we've got this star point yet. Protect the village from the marauding bandits. Oh, baby. Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. Still having computer issues, still trying to fix them. Uh, I'll talk about them more in my next uh, Sparks Plays Minecraft. Right, what is going on here? The bandit emissary tells you that her, her gang is coming to raid the village's crops. Maxwell needs to recruit help. Okay, what do I do? Recruit someone to defend our village. 
Let's uh, create a missionary. That's not the kind of... I'm not thinking of a missionary, am I? Uh, what am I thinking of? People who pay, you pay them to fight your wars for you. What are they called? Um, it's mercenary, isn't it? Uh, sin mercenary. There we go. <laughs> oh, I had a complete mind blank there. Missionary priests aren't really that great in war in my experience, but yeah, if they're paying him, I can I can give him all the gold I like. I've got a magic book. Okay, now an engineer has come to the village's aid. Help him by building fortifications for the town. <laughs> An engineer who needs our help. Uh, I have no engineering degree at all. I like the random fountain. Engineer, help him build things, was it? Um, help him build things. Let's, let's give him uh, a workbench. Will that be good? I have no skills in this area, guy. It's your job. Mercenary is happily doing nothing um, and getting paid for it, I assume. Samurai? They don't need a mercenary, they've got a samurai. And a peasant. Delicious on bread. Who's that pheasant? Uh, I'm trying to work out what to do. <laughs> in these little tiny houses. It'll probably tell me in a minute, but I don't know where to click. Oh, it's this guy. We need a structure that can keep the. Oh, okay, right, so I've got to actually build it for them. How about a toy tower? It worked! <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. Those, that toy tower is just so handy. Look at what it does! Toy towers for the win, for defending cities and dating girls. Next, teach the villagers how to fight to recruit someone who can instruct them. What about um, a... Um, well, I'm, I'm thinking of like that tortoise from Kung Fu Panda. Uh, could we have like a... Uh, Kung Fu Master, but like a Kung Fu Tortoise. Another word I find I can't spell. Oh no, it doesn't like it. We'll go with Kung Fu Master then. Oh, he's male this time. Fair enough, and he's on top of a building. <laughs> okay, this is a very wide range of fighters. <laughs> now recruit someone who can inf infiltrate the enemy camp and spy on them. Let's create a tiny flying man. Hmm. Yeah, she'll sneak in anywhere. Very smart, very smart. And now she's invisible. <laughs> Perfect. This is great. This is great! Uh, crazy man's got me talking like good all the time. I caught it off him. Finally prepare Maxwell with a weapon. I think we know what we've got coming. Sharp rubber chicken. Maxwell, you're gonna go crazy with that rubber chicken. Although in this case it doesn't appear to count. That is... A a real shame, although I am now amused, apparently. Oops! Oh god, no. I need that. I need it. Okay, right. Uh, well, we'll go We'll go with the backup tranquilizer gun. There we go. That'll do. Here they come! Just in time to find us completely prepared, and the spy didn't come back. The spy didn't help in any way, shape, or form. I don't know who's who's on my team. I'm just gonna. That's a samurai master. Are they gonna win by themselves? It's the building. That's the rubber chicken. God, I shot one of my own. I'm just going to put everyone to sleep. Is that a bad idea? I'm not very good at this at all. There we go. Okay, they're all asleep. 
This is this is the solution to all of our wars. Just tranquilize everybody who tries to fight you. <laughs> Brilliant. Excellent. Okay, very good. Camel doesn't want anything. Mime may want something but can't oh. tell me. But that's fine by me. Mimes have this real stereotype for being unwanted. I don't know. Don't know why. I don't think I've ever seen a mime live. A cleric and a grave robber. Go for it, guys. And a sculptor. Oh, lock, lock. There's a way down, though. Let's go. Oh, I thought there was a way down. It looks like there's a way down, but it's not asking me if I want to go down. I think there's an entrance on the other side over here as well. Let's try that one. Uh, oh, I remember the mime. The mime had this great worm thing down here. I can't remember what he wanted for it, though. Maybe if... Oh, yeah, I remember. He needed to make some noise, so... Let's give him a rattle or something. I can't remember exactly what I gave him. No? I, don't know, I just want to see the giant worm again. The worm is funny. There we go. Look, 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 look. It shoots, it shoots jam. A spice, that was it. It shoots spice at you. It's just so funny. I thought that was great. It's great. <laughs> Great guy. Oh, here we go. Here's a place we can go to. Oh, this is where we came from. We've done this place. I don't remember if I did this, if I completed this in the last episode. I know we did the Elephantine Ice Cube on camera, because uh, that was the name of the last episode. I don't remember if we did the genie thing. Um, if we didn't, I basically had to grant people's wishes. Uh, I think that was about it, really. Um... Let's let's go somewhere else. That other place looked pretty good. Where was the this one? This one looked really nice, like really sparkly, shiny. <laughs> oh, I'm such a magpie at heart. Underscore mine. Protect me from lethal gas. Why is the canary amused? I do wonder why is it amused. It's laughing with such a deep, beautiful voice. Okay. Uh, protect. Let's give him a gas mask. Or is that too obvious? Um, what about a scuba suit? It's not going to fit him, is it? Nope. We can wear it. Uh, let's give him uh, a gas mask. It's probably the simplest. There we <laughs> Brilliant. Bird in the hand. Woo! Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Oh, this is going to be great. Oh no! <laughs> I'm off the rails, but it doesn't matter. This has got great traction, this car. Look at it go. <laughs> it's great. Okay, anyway. Uh, no, I'm going to stay in the car for a bit. Oh, oops. A. What do they want? Help us, we're trapped. Let's give them a burning cube. Yeah. The cube. That's kind of cool. What we basically have here is a kind of timing device. See, I kind of want to try something now. Look, it's kind of slowly burning down, right? Yeah. So, oh, did we get something for that? I wasn't paying attention. Do they want anything else? Give me something to hunt the mighty mammoth. Okay, hang on a second. You can wait. We're gonna get. Um, we're gonna get a burning cube again. Put it here, and then we're gonna get um, like a, I don't know. We could get something like a, a tall plank and balance it. Oh, hang on! No, 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 no. We need, we need like a tall fireproof plank and then that goes on top of that right I don't know you could probably do some kind of time contraption with this couldn't you look it's, it's burning down what if we put like um a, a large bird egg at the top a large egg Balance that very carefully on top here. 
I don't think that's balanced, but oh, see, look. Ta-da! <laughs> I, I didn't see that coming at all. I really honestly wasn't expecting that to happen. Um, but that is brilliant. And now we're carding around a plank. This is brilliant. Okay, that was great. Tr tranquilizer gun. Now, does that count, I wonder? He doesn't seem happy with it. Let's give him... Uh, a flamethrower. Try that for size. He just shot himself, didn't he? He did. Go on, drive, Maxwell. Drive! Drive! Come on. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. There we go. That was hilarious. He picked up the trank gun again. Give me something to hunt the mighty mammoth. But what? But fine. You're getting a spear. Spear. Ignore the fact you've already killed the mammoth. Will you now give me the point? Do I have to give you another mammoth? Or have I failed? I think I failed. I broke the game. I broke it. <laughs> we have to reset that bit at some point. That was great though. We hatched a shard out of an egg. Now I'm wondering, like I think I've gotten a couple of those. I'm wondering whether there's certain things you just can do anywhere and you get a star right point for it once you've tried it once. I don't know. Kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. What's going on here? Flamenco dancer. Opera singer. Somebody else behind them who I can't reach. Come on, shy guy. Supermodel. Let's take our minecart for a swim. A long good day, sir. <laughs> good day. Good to see you. He probably wants to... He's heavy as well, is he? Oh, that's not quite what I wanted to happen. Can we turn it on? No, we can't. I wanted <laughs> to make that light. Yay! I thought we'd get a point for that. Okay. These guys are fine. Quite a nice area. Not as nice as the other area. And then we've got a thing here. A Gorgon. Didn't we do a Gorgon before? Have we been here before? Razor. He looks like he might want things. We have been here before, I swear. I'm pretty sure we've been here before. I'm pretty sure we've been here before. We've been here before. It's crazy, I know, but... Where am I? Well, I don't know. My house is so plain, it needs a touch of colour, dear. <laughs> Needs a touch of colour. Oh. Thank you, Steam, for your notifications. I didn't need that. Um, touch of colour. Let's create... Whoops. 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 Um, paint gun. Paint, paintball gun. Right? Would that work? Might. Oh, nice! I wonder if shooting it again will change its colour. I th that's pretty cool. Can I colour other things by shooting them? Yeah! That's pretty cool. I like that. This guy wants help. What time are we on? 23 minutes? Okay. <laughs> we'll do this guy next time. I promise not to delete the footage this time. And if I do, you'll never know I did it in the first place. <laughs> anyway, bye.